Hello everybody, this is Training Ever back to kick off yet another mini tournament. Yes, we had quite a few votes going into this one, and it was between the Lightning Assault Tournament and the Earthshakers Tournament. And well, as you can see here, this was the result of that vote, which closed today, which is the Friday, the 10th of September. And as you can see, Earthshakers Tournament won by quite a landslide actually, I didn't expect it to win by that much. But yeah, we're going to be doing an Earth Tournament. Ooh, that'll shake things up, won't it? So, so far, we have the Sejuangosaurus and the Parasaurolophus, who will be part of the Champions team for my main tournament. <laughs> Who's excited for that? I'm excited. It's going to be awesome. And one of these guys will join them. Who are our combatants for this tournament? Well, this was a lot easier to do than the Gracious Grass Tournament because there was... Well, there was 23 Earth Dinosaurs in total, but I added a Dinotech to Cychania, which made it 24. And 24 is an ideal number because it will go down to 12, and then we'll go down to 6, and then it'll go down to 3, and then them 3 will duke it out for the crown. Pretty much the same format as the Fire Tournament, the Secret... Well, all the tournaments except for, as I just said, the... Well, Wicked Wind as well, actually. Wicked Wind was different, I think. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it, it's exactly the same as all my other mini tournaments, except for the grass tournament. And I'm sure when I do the lightning tournament, it'll be a 24-man team any again. Well, it'll be 24 teams. Well, dinos, I should say. Right, let's go through our combatants. And this is going to be an interesting one, because going through these dinosaurs, a lot of them have pretty high crets, which is surprising. You, you would think earth dinosaurs would be more of the resilient type, but they're not. They do have a lot of them. Definitely pack a punch, and let's not forget, it is an Earth Dinosaur that carries the highest crit in the game, so let's not forget that fact. Right, let's get started. Okay, well, we obviously gotta have everyone's favourite pur purple's yellow spiky back hedgehog guy, the Cychania. This Cychania will be going rocking in with a tail smash, earthquake and a light recovery. Can Cychania follow in the footsteps of the other gold dinosaurs and win and win this tournament? It's gonna be tough because we have another gold, we have the Uoplocephalus. Now this Uoplocephalus will be quite deadly because it's the attack type one, so it's going to have more attack than the Cychania, and it does pack does pack a powerful Quake Saber, because as I have done in previous tournaments, I try to use moves that those dinosaurs used in the anime if they featured there. And Uoplocephalus was in the anime, and it did use Quake Saber. Actually, now that I think about it, Toshongasaurus used Quake Saber as well. Should have put Quake Saber on him, but oh well. And we also have Stun Dash and Kamikaze Tackle, so again, Quite attack-minded golds, these two. They'll be tough to tangle with. All right, as for our silvers, we have Stegosaurus, of course. And again, we got to have Spike Arrows, Lillian Cure, and Elemental Power. Okay, now for another Earth Dinosaur that could spring a surprise, the Tarkia. This Tarkia going into it will be attack type as well. In fact, all, three, all of these three will be attack types. Real heavy hitters going into this tournament. So we have the Tarkia with Final Fury, Net Crusher, and Crystal Crusher. All about crushing the enemy there, Tarkia. Yeah. Okay, now we have Gigant Spinosaurus. An amazing name for a dinosaur. You would think it's a, it was a carnivore, but it's not. Rocking in with a move block, an earthquake, and a Struthio Rush. Could be one to watch this beast. Now, moving on to our bronzes. We have Edmontonia with Defense Burst. Rock Roller, of course, because it used it. And Death Grind. And, well, here's the dinosaur with the highest crit in the game, the Tujongosaurus. And, yes, it is the lethal type one. And, yes, it does have Rock Roller. And it does have Anyangera Dive. So, definitely watch out for this beast. And it also has Crit Block as well. Because, why the hell not? Uh, we have another bronze here. One one of the more unknown bronzes in this game, the Panoplosaurus. And Panoplosaurus is pretty decent. It's pretty decent, Dinos. Coming in with a Power Drain, Atomic Bomb, and Giga Rock Hammer. All about draining the HP there. Right, now for our pretty much normal dinosaurs. Our 1400ers. Earth dinosaurs, we have quite a few of them. We have Kentrosaurus. This one is the defense type Kentrosaurus. Definitely about defense, this guy with a tag team earth barrier and elemental power. This one could be quite a pest to defeat. We also have one of my favorite earth dinosaurs. And fun fact, the very first earth dinosaur I actually acquired, the Ankylosaurus. With Stomping Hammer, Tappy Jara Dive and Mole Attack. Mole Attack, an iconic move from the Ankylosaurus. And I'm sure it'll be quite effective when it uses it. Right, now now we have Gastoni Gastonia, and Gastonia is quite a decent dinosaur, actually. 
the attack type version. It has spike arrows, attack boost, and death grind. Definitely an attack minded moveset, this. As quite a lot of these Earth Dinosaurs have. Okay, now for a more defensive Earth Dinosaur, we have Nodosaurus with Sand Trap, Move Breaker, and Crystal Crusher. Crush its way past the competition there, Nodosaurus. And we have ev and up next we have everyone's orange boy. Everyone's favourite orange spiky earth boy, the Polar Camp. Skydive Dromeo Russian Mole Attack. Looking pretty good there. Right, now on to our 1200ers now, with starting with Sorrow Pelter, the Charge Type 1, with Sand Trap, Move Breaker, and Wall Smash. A tie specialist of Sorrow Pelter, could Sand Trap help it go far in this tournament? And next up we have Decentraurus, our local hero here, coming in with a Defense Boost, Earth Barrier, and Light Recovery, so like Kentrosaurus, it's definitely both small resilient, and focuses a lot more on defense than attack. And well, speaking of attack, we have Lexovasaurus. Uh, I went for the super defense type version this time, so not the lethal type one, so it doesn't have an insanely high crit, but it does have a, still have a decent crit. And it has Sand Trap, because it used it in the anime, Recovery and Tiebreaker, so Lexophosaurus could be a tricky customer, as could this Pinacosaurus, again one of the more unknown dinosaurs in the game. Dive Impress, Earthquake and Venom Fang. Fast damage would be one to watch in the tournament, Pinacosaurus. Okay, now on to our Thousanders, and there's only two. We have the Woohoosaurus with Tupu for a Dive, Rock Roller, and Giga Rock Hammer. Woohoosaurus could definitely be a deadly assassin in this tournament. I suspect the Rock Roller, Tupu Dive, and Giga Rock Hammer all activating on the same turn will do an ass ton of that. As will the Talarurus, should it get off a Quake Saber, because this Talarurus is a tack type. So we have Quake Saber, Dino Swing, and Triple Headbutt. Definitely, oh, oops, definitely more focus on the attack. All right. Now for our two Alpha Dinosaurs, we have Alpha Kentrosaurus, seems to be a fan favourite for quite a few people I've noticed, coming in with Spike Arrows, Alpha Dice and Banana Surprise, and ooh, maybe, maybe, there's, maybe there'll be a little twist when, when uh, I do my big tournament with, Alpha Di with regards to Alpha Dinosaurs, and maybe I'll put up a leak snack this week or something. <laughs> Ooh, I'm cheeky like that, aren't I? Alright, now for our al other Alpha Dinosaur, we have Alpha Woohoosaurus with Dino Stuffer, Softening Beam, and Giga Rock Ham. Okay, now for our anime dinosaurs, we have Tank, the super defense type. Tank could be a dark horse in this tournament, although a lot of the uh, pretty much all the other anime dinosaurs have sucked in this tournament. I think I can't even remember who got the furthest. I I think it was Terry, maybe? No, I think it was Spy Te either Terry or Spiny got f got the furthest out of the anime dinosaur. But I do have good hope. I do have high hopes that Tank will do well in this tournament. I do think Tank will be one to watch. But it's not alone because it will also be joined by Armatus. Armatus again, another fan favorite in this tournament, and another one that I think could be one to watch in this tournament as well. Gigas and Maximus didn't. F well, Maximus hasn't featured yet because we haven't done a lightning tournament, but Gigas didn't particularly feature fair too well, if I remember correctly. But Armatus hoping to do well. And then we have our armored dinosaur, and probably the favorite for this tournament, the Dinotector Sychania. With a tie attack, Archaeopteryx Charm, and Crystal Crush. Favorite in this tournament, definitely one to avoid early on. And speaking of avoid, it's time to place all of these guys in here to find out what our matches will be. So yeah, you know the deal, you know the deal. Random number generator here, one to 24, one to 12 going that way, and then 13 to 24 going that way. And then I'll minus a few. And then I'll minus this down so we don't get repetition. So without further ado, let's get started. And our first number up is 22, so ooh. Yes, that's Tank, ooh, that's interesting. So Tank is gonna be in the first match of the tournament. And Tank's opponent shall be number 17. Not a bad, not a bad matchup for Tank there. Taking on the taking on the unknown Pinacosaurus. Okay, now for our next matchup is number eight. Ooh, another another relatively unknown here, the Panoplosaurus. And his opponent is going to be, or hers, we could say her. We'll say her opponent is going to be number 10. Ooh, this, this could be an interesting matchup. As we see the Panoplosaurus taking on the Gaston, yeah, Gastonia. <laughs> Got a brain freeze then. Hmm, that could be an interesting match. Definitely a decent bracket for Tank, I would say. Tank is pretty decent. That's not a bad draw for Tank there. All right, on to our next matchup. We shall have oh number eight again, and that will be Kentrosaurus. So Kentrosaurus, the resilient Tank. Its opponent shall be number. 
four. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one for Kentrosaurus as it takes on the Tarkia. Now, Tarkia, I rated very highly when I did my Earth tier list, as I did Kentrosaurus as well. Some interesting matches so far. We haven't seen any golds yet. Ooh, Desantorurus. Stegosaurus going up here. Your opponent is going to be... Number nine. Ooh, that could be an interesting clash. A clash between Desantorurus and Polacanthus. Two European dinosaurs, two local heroes here. Going at it. Number four. Ooh, here we go. Here comes the heavy hitters. The Stegosaurus. Pretty good in this tournament. Looks pretty good to do well in this tournament, I should say. His opponent is going to be... Ooh. Ooh, that's a big clash. That could be a big clash. Well, it's going to be a big clash. Taking on the Cychania. Two heavy hitters in, in this tournament going at it early on. That'll be a good matchup, wouldn't it? Number seven up next, so... Ooh, the Soropelter, the Thai Specialist. Suspect we will see a lot of Sand Traps from that guy. And Sand Trap is a pretty good Thai move. And Soropelter's opponent is going to be number three. And that, my friends, is the Edmontonia. Edmontonia, not the best Earth Dinosaur in the world, but it certainly can hold its own. And I suspect it will probably... I suspect it's the favourite in this matchup, but you never know in this tournament. You never know. Could Soropelt the follow in the footsteps of other minnow dinosaurs like Fukuisaurus, Mataburosaurus, the Sejuangosaurus, Lilian Sternus, all doing well, Simotyrannus. Don't underestimate the weaklings, because what makes them weak is what truly makes them strong. Something like that. Okay, we're halfway through, so let's just quickly go through all the dinosaurs that are yet to be placed. So we have Euoplocephalus, Gigantspinosaurus, Tajongosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Nodosaurus, Lexovosaurus, Wuhusaurus, Talarurus, Alpha Kentro, Alpha Wuho, Armatus, and Ta and Cychania Tacta. So who's up next? Number 10. So that will be Alpha Wuhusaurus. Our first Alpha Dinosaur, and it's going to be put down here. And your opponent shall be number 7. Well, number 7 keeps popping up. Oh, oh that's interesting, isn't it? Oh, that's going to be an interesting clash. We have Alpha Wuhusaurus taking on normal Wuhusaurus. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good matchup, that's a good matchup. Very, very interesting to see how the normal Wuhusaurus does against his alpha counterpart. Okay, number two, that is, ooh, Gigant Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus could be one to watch in this tournament, even though I didn't rate it very well as a, as a, di as an Earth Dinosaur overall. It could still do well. Okay, number eight. Oh, it's going to have his work cut out for it because it is taking on Armata. Ooh, that could be interesting because... We could see a semi-final matchup between Tank and Armatus. So yeah, this is an interest. Looking at this bracket. Well, I can go through the brackets at the end of the draw. Okay, now on to our next placements. Number five. Oh, here we go. Lexovasaurus. A dinosaur I rated very highly in the TLS. Going into here. And its opponent shall be number two. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a big... It's going to be a quick match. Oh, I think that's going to be a quick match, this one. Taking on the might of Tajongosaurus, and that crit is going to be lethal. Ooh, that's going to be... I think this clash is going to be like over in like 10 seconds. All right, let's move on. Number f Ooh, Nodosaurus. Nodosaurus being placed down here. Nodosaurus, your opponent is going to be... Number five. Ooh, could be a short stay for the Nodosaurus as it takes on Cychania Tector. Okay, who do we have left? We have Euoplocephalus left, Ankylosaurus left, Talarurus left, and Alpha Kentrosaurus left. So let's see who will go with. Okay, so that's number three, so that's Talarurus. So Talarurus is going to be down here, and its opponent shall be number three. Ooh, that's not gonna be easy. A tough match against the Alpha Kentrosaurus. And that will, should leave, if I am correct, which I usually am, the Ankylosaurus and the Euoplocephalus going at it. Okay, we'll just see which one will go in first. So it'll be Ankylosaurus taking on Euoplocephalus. Very, very interesting matches in this to, to look forward to so far. So let's have a quick look at the bracket before we end the session. So yeah, a good matchup here, I think, for Tank. Actually, I think overall a good bracket for Tank. You know, there are some that could... Well, there's quite a few that could cause a problem, but... Yeah, for Tank and Armatus, I feel like this is a very good bracket. And definitely a more open bracket than maybe these other two. This one... Well, you, you can't look past Tank Tector. 
no, Saicheni attacked her, doing well. But, you know, one of these two possible dark horses in this tournament, not going to be easy for it. And, well, I, I don't think any of these guys up here are going to get, pa get past tanked Saicheni attack if it does have to face it. But if it doesn't, you know, again, another open bracket. But obviously, as I said, the Saicheni attack will be the strong favourite there. Now, this bracket is interesting because you've got the two Earth goals in here, the Saicheni and Euoplocephalus. You have some other heavy hitters. I think this is going to be the tough... I think... Oh! <laughs> I think this one is probably the most competitive bracket in terms of how tough it's going to be. I think it's going to be quite difficult for things like Soropelt and Tala Rois and maybe probably Ankylosaurus to make an impression. But you never know, you never know. We've seen weaklings do well before. Well, so-called weaklings do well before. And it wouldn't surprise me to see one of them do well this time. So yeah... That's that's pretty much the draw. That's the that's the tournament. That's the draw, and we got some ma lovely matches to look forward to. So yeah, format will be the same as it was before. So there'll be four matches per video, starting with these four matches, and then these four, and then these last four. So yeah, same as before, as I just said. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and leave a comment down below. Who do you think's gonna win? Who are you rooting for in this tournament? Who do you think's gonna win? Who do you think's gonna surprise people? And who do you think's gonna be an who do you think could be an early casualty? And until then, this is Strange Gamer signing out.